Hi guys, welcome back. I hope that you are okay and that you had a really good week. Um, so for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Ali and I am currently on maternity leave at the moment. So um, I'm just putting out a video each week at the moment and I'm coming back to work full time in August. This is my poochie puppy. Um, baby's currently asleep at this moment in time. So, uh, any updates this week? Um, I'm so booked up for June readings now and I have got spaces available for July. I know it's a bit of a wait, um, but at the moment, because of being on maternity, I am only working one day a month. Um, so July is my next availability. I am going to be doing email readings in, uh, what month for me? May and June as well. So if you do want a quick turnaround on your readings on the day, um, May and June, I will be doing those readings for you. Um, what else has happened this week? Not much really. Um, went back to yoga. That was pretty neat. Missed yoga. Um, really helps kind of stretch your, your muscles and that. Don't know how lovely yoga is. Really centers you and grounds you. Um, and that's it, really. It's been quite a boring week, but, you know, sometimes boring is good, isn't it? Especially when you've got a little bit of sleep deprivation. Um, and that is my lot. So, yeah, if you need me, drop me a message. Have a totally, totally best week, guys. Um, and I will speak to you next week. I love you all to pieces. I miss you all like crazy. And I will speak to you soon. Lots of love from my house to your house. Uh, bye, guys. Hi guys, welcome back and I hope that you've had a really good week. Uh, so this week what we're going to be doing is we're going into the higher dimensions to pull down some messages directly from your person to you. So we're working with higher dimensional energies today, working with the 5D. Um, I've got two tarot card uh, decks for you to pick from just as a kind of a tool, a mechanism to getting into the energy. Um, and I've also got this Lenormand um, Alice in Wonderland tea reading card deck that we will probably use as well. Spirit told me to get them out, so uh, we'll use them too. I just want you to pick the deck that you are most drawn to. Deck number one, deck number two, both very dimensional. You can see the, the uh, indigos and the stars on each one. And this one you have the moons. Uh, this is the Orion's Tarot and this is Tarot de la Nuit in my favourite French accent. De la Nuit and Le Normand. <laughs> um, pick your deck. Okay, let's go. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy with you. All and off we go. So I'm Claire Audien, um, which means that I hear spirit. So when I connect with the higher dimensions for the 5D, it comes directly through my right ear. So we're just going to tune into the mutual energy of everyone in deck number one as we pull out the strongest vibrational energy between you all of you and your person and what it is, what messages they have for you. I've got allergies today, so if my mascara starts running, um, it's because my eyes are itching like crazy, so you're just going to have like a, a black eye. Okay, now let's have a look at these because this is where they're taking us to. We've got a lovely connection going on with the 5D over here. Okay, let's go. Mushroom. They don't work typically like Lenormand. There's different ones involved in this deck. Two. Mushroom. Bat. Child. That one is in Lenormand. Let's get two more. That was a hamster. <laughs> it was definitely a hamster. What messages do they have for their person? For... One more. Five. Good. Good, 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 good. Okay. The reason why I'm saying good on that is my eye is driving me mad. Is because you have heart, okay, and heart is always about love. And um, you also have child for new beginnings. So these cards are looking very positive for you. So what messages does that person have through the 5D, through me as a channel, over to you lot watching? What messages do they have? So I'm getting um, a couple of songs coming through. So the, often uh, with Spirit, they will work with me as the frequency using radio songs. So it's like how I hear Spirit. It's like a constant radio in the background. And I have to tune into it and get specific frequencies. Now, the first one that's coming through um, is about life after love, which was share. I want to say, do you believe in life after love? Now, 
with this song and i don't know the specific lyrics about googling it but i can hear i can hear it but i can't tell you specific lyrics but what spirit what the 5d what your person is saying to you in this is that there is still the love that the two of you share and there is still life that comes with that okay so that's why life after love is coming forward um i'm also getting how long will i love you as long as the stars shine above you ellie goulding T testing me now um and also, do you believe in magic? Do you believe in magic? That's coming through as well. So we have this very strong dimension connection between you both. This intense driving me mad. <laughs> this very strong, intense connection between you both, which is obviously more of a divine connection happening with you both. Your person does love you. They do have very strong feelings for you. So what they will want to come through, what they are saying, okay? Let's tune into that mutual energy of what everyone is saying, okay? So there is this period of rest that is likely happening with you guys at the moment now as that's happening look the uh, spirit telling me to read it downwards so the reading blended blended reading okay so there is a bit of a period of rest going on between you both you're going to feel as if nothing much is happening now the reason why that is going on is because there is this magic energy happening okay so even if you can't what they're saying is even if you can't see what's going on there's more going on than meets the eye. And we all know uh, with mushrooms how they're very quite a mystical, mystical um, ve vegetable, mushrooms, vegetables, and they're a fairy food. They're a food of the fae. Now, I don't know how much of you guys know much about the fae, but if you go and eat the fae's food uh, without asking, you can end up getting yourself in a little bit of trouble. But the reason why that's coming forward in this part of the reading is even though you're resting, um, there's stuff that's going on that meets the eye there's more to this than what they seems, okay? And it's coming from a very magical perspective. So just because there's a surface level of what's going on with the mushroom, you would say, oh, that's just a mushroom growing in the woodland. There's a lot more to it than that. There's a lot more to a mushroom than it just growing in the woods and it just being a fungus. There's more going on. So even though there's a period of rest, they're saying, don't panic, okay? Just because there's a period of rest, we're actually doing quite a lot of deep soul searching at the moment, trying to seek answers for things that perhaps have been closed off to me that I haven't seen before. And this is what we're saying about mushrooms in the fae. You will go into the woods, you would see a mushroom but for me i would see a fairy food okay so what they are saying with this is even though they're having a period of rest they are doing a bit of soul searching and there is more going on than meets the eye with them okay so there's a love here that they are soul searching on definitely spiritual connection between you both we've got the lovers and bat okay bat this is drawing me uh, to uh, Dracula and the vampire bats and how he would change his form how he'd be a shapeshifter okay to to go out into the night now i'm not doing it from a darkened perspective but we are talking about shape shifting here and lovers okay so what this is saying over here is this period of transformation going on with you both also being able to see the light in the dark so if your person when they're going through this more going on than meets the eye they are seeing a light through the darkness okay and the light through the darkness is you with the lovers over here um very very divine connection between you both um there's also an element focusing on communication an element focusing on love and there's also an alignment of uh, elements as well so quite a how many times do i say elements in one word quite an elemental energy happening between you both but it's transforming transmuting transforming we go to child and the king of wands after that now child always symbolizes new beginnings okay um so what we've got over here, let me read you these in this, how Lenormand works. Okay, so you've got the mushroom to the bat, so you can't see the changes that are happening. The changes that are happening are leading to new beginnings. That's what those are saying, okay? So the new beginnings over here with your king of wands, never sexually orientated or gender specific, but this would highlight your person's energy. So your person is actually going through a lot of new beginnings. Uh, Spirit are saying with that, a lot of trials and errors. It's like they're doing two steps forward, one step back, but they will have their mind focused on the new beginnings for you. Okay, so coming forward into your energy, what they'd want you to know on that is that there was a focus on new beginnings. From then on, they're going to start questioning their motives with the star next to it. Okay, so talking over here about being on the right path, things moving forward, and questioning what they actually want from the connection, how to move it forward with the new beginnings over here. They're also going to be thinking, Spirit are saying, whether this is something that perhaps they've messed around with so long, whether you're particularly interested in the situation as well. But they do know that the love between the both of you is unconditional, so there's that focus on that. 
start coming up over here, being on the right path, questioning what they want. And from there, you move on to heart and the king of swords. So this is your person working on the logic and transforming the heart energy to communicate that with you. OK, the swords often speaks of communication, communicating their heart centered energy towards you. So when we're looking at these cards as a whole and I'm saying your messages from your person as we're channeling it straight through spirit. OK, like I said to you over here, the unseen is transforming into the scene which then leads to new beginnings, which then makes a person question your person say, oh, you know what? I'm questioning what I want over here and I actually want to give you that level of commitment. So that's what they'd say. They say to you, okay, the message directly to you is, I might be a little bit distant at the moment, but I am taking a bit of time out to think things through. I'm seeing things that I haven't seen before and that energy is transforming around me. As that energy transforms around me, I'm focusing on the new beginning that we can have together. And I'm wondering whether this is something that you are actually interested in as well as time progresses, but I will be offering you my heart. Uh, same with the tarot over here, you have this period of rest. So I say I might be a little bit down, taking a step back, but I know that our energies are aligning. I know that this is a deep divine connection. I'm going to stand in my power, gain my courage, offer you my heart, seeing the future towards us, where we can go from here, where the pathway is leading, and I will come forward and communicate that with you in the not too distant future. And that is your messages direct from your 5D person to you. Okay, so if you want me, uh, drop me a message. Uh, I love you all to pieces. I will speak to you soon. Uh, many, many blessings your way, deck number one. Ciao. Okay, guys, uh, deck number two. If you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, my light just went falling. Um, so that's why perhaps the angle is different. <laughs> okay, so deck number two. What we're going to do today is we're going to pull cards from a person from the higher dimensions. And I'm, I've also got the Lenormand over here, um, which we will be using as well. Okay, so I'm just going to use the tarot first. Full of a fuffle now that the, the camera tried to do a little bit on Okay, so we're just going to go into your mutual energy and we're picking into the higher dimensions with you all to tap in, tune in and turn on to your person. And we're going to ask what messages they specifically have for you. And I'm also going to use a Lenoma to draw those messages out um, for what they want to say. Now, if you know me, you know that I work quite urgently, so I hear messages. Um, if you don't know me, that's, I do work quite urgently. I hear the messages coming through my uh, bright ear when it is higher dimensional beings. So, what messages do they have for those watching? What do their people have? Oh my goodness. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oh, you guys must be feeling in a little bit of a kerfuffle at the moment as well. Probably why my, my lamp went for falling and the, the higher energies often reflect in the, in the 3D as well, don't they? Okay, what messages do they have for deck number two? So Lenoma is a fortune telling card. We just had that one. Um, they work very differently from Tarot. So I'm getting the song uh, Time Feet Delilah by Chase and Status that's coming forward. Oh, I get one more. Okay, so I don't know if you guys know Chase and Status at all, if you guys are into drum and bass, if you party hard like I used to. Um, time Feet Delilah, if you could find the time to give your love to me, just drop me a line and tell me where you'll be. Um, but if you can't find the time, then cut me loose. I've got allergies today as well, so if my eye starts watering, that's why. So, looking at your cards, you guys have been in a very difficult, hard um, and heavy energy, okay? And that's coming forward with your person from the 5D. Now, the first thing that they're saying is despite these kind of towers happening and perhaps eight of cups if your person has took a step back from the situation despite these towers and eight of cups situations happening falling apart and walking away um there is a very strong bond that the two of you share and even if they're like i'm not speaking to you i'm not talking to you i'm i've vanished into the sunset there is still this bond this still unbreakable bond uh, and that is a song i'm sure that's a song coming forward as well unbreakable bond that the two of you share 
So even though it's gone a little bit tits up at the moment, there it is, there's still this strong connection that the two of you share. Now, Spirit is saying sometimes you guys are a bit like chalk and cheese. Um, so <laughs> sometimes you get on, sometimes you don't get on, and you do have this kind of conflicting energy, which can often cause these towers. Now, looking at the Lenoma over here, Mushroom was the first card in deck number one as well. Now this speaks of the unseen, okay? So there could potentially be things that have happened with you and your person that you aren't fully aware of, okay? And this is why with sword next to mushroom, they might have cut the communication with you as well. So you might find, and Spirit are saying this, and your lovers, your people are saying this as well, that there's more going on than meets the eye, that perhaps you haven't known the full circumstances, perhaps you caught them at the wrong time, and this is why they've taken a step back from the situation. They're very crowded, Spirit are saying, in their mind okay sword energy really signifying the air the mind very crowded there's a lot of thoughts a lot of um coming and going toing and froing um and i just got uh welcome to the world of motherhood i just got to and throw from baby sensory to and fro back and forth we go a lot of that happening within your person's mind um, and stuff going on that you aren't fully aware of. So even on the surface level, if it looks like they took a step back, looks like they vanished into the sunset and you're... Sorry, spirit just stepping really cold air into my energy there. Um, even though you're, they're standing in this kind of, I'm stepping away from this, there is this more going on than meets the eye and this backwards and forwards motion. Now... With that, this is why Hourglass come in, okay, and this is where the song Time Feet Delilah is. So even though they are acting in a way that is probably not in your favour at this moment in time, that you're probably rather pissed off about and thinking, come on, mate, what are you actually playing at? With Hourglass next to it, it's suggesting that giving it a bit of time, a little bit of downtime. And even if this situation has gone really tits up with the Ten of Swords over here and, you know, they're viewing it as a betrayal, you're viewing it as a betrayal, that they've stepped away, that they let, let the connection go. With the right amount of timing, this can uh, bounce back with the to and fro energy going on. Um, so looking at these cards initially and what they would say to you, let's get this heavy energy cleared and then we'll move on to where it's going. What they would say to you with this is, I've took a step back from the situation. I've been very crowded in my mind. I've been thinking things through. I've been going backwards and forwards. It's not just a situation with you. I'm swamped with work, with family, with all sorts of things going on in my life and I haven't really known how to focus. And at that point in time, you were probably the easiest link to cut off. OK, give me some time. Give me some time. Let me miss you and I will bounce back. And that's what we're showing next. So you have Page of Swords and Lady. Remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel. But Lenormand, like Tarot, works with Lady and Man. OK, so what this is saying over here is they are watching your social media. OK, so even if they've vanished, even if they've blocked you as well, I would be very wary of fake accounts um, asking people to check what you're up to that's happening over here and you might as well catch them doing it so you might just scroll onto facebook or something and there might be a memory of you and your person and their name is going to be up in the air you know nice and bold you can click on it and you say oh you unblocked me and then the day later they block you again but the fact is they are still watching your social media and that is what's coming up over here and there is spirit saying a little bit of obsession on their part um and with that, I'm getting a song that a lot of you probably don't know because uh, it's pagan music. Dav the Bard, uh, he does a song called Obsession, okay? Um, and it's quite an intimate song. It's quite a sexual song and it's quite a passionate song as well coming into your energy. So if you like pagan music or you want to go and listen, have a look at Dav the Bard, Obsession. That's coming forward. I don't know if you just saw the orb floating off that way. Okay, watching your social media. From there, you have the lovers and you have the moon, okay? The moon being the cycles, all right? Getting in a cycle with you and your person. Um, works with fertility as well, if you're interested in having a baby. You've got the moon energy happening over here. Um, with the lovers, the passionate energy, you two bonding together. Secrets underneath the surface. Yes, we already know that because we have mushroom coming forward at the front. So it does a loop. And this is how Lenormand work. It, it works on a loop basis. So let me show you how we read this, okay? So things going on, more than meets the eye, which is cutting the situation off, but working on the communication, giving it a little bit of time, 
that time is coming towards you, you having time and them having time from the situation, which then will uh, reveal news, reveal secrets to you um, that have previously been hidden. Okay, that's how their normal works. When we look at the tower, you've got the tower, it's all gone tits up, everything's fallen apart. You've got the eight of cups, they've stepped away from the situation. You've got the ten of swords, ooh, kind of feeling a little bit betrayed from it all. Then you have the page of swords that they are still watching your social media, which then leads to the lovers. So if we're going to look at this from what your person would say to you, at the moment they would say, I've just having, I'm having some time out. Please don't panic. It's not done and dusted. It's not completely over. You are still in my heart. I do still think of you and I am still watching your social media. Um, I do have very strong feelings for you. I care for you extremely deeply. Um, I'm not going to apologise for my actions just yet, but you are likely to get an apology further down the line. And that, my loves, is deck number two. That is what they will tell you. I love you all to pieces. Have a totally best week and I will speak to you soon. Ciao, loves.